Hello and welcome to Godbreaker, a brief to ground mission by Random Tuffer. Let's get started and watch the briefing. As a thief with a reputation for success, it's easy to bite off more than I can chew. Over the years, I've received more job offers than I could possibly complete. And as age has become less shy in its steady creep, I've had to decline more and more of them. I've come to understand that my energy is a fleeting investment, and I shouldn't take every job that comes my way. Unfortunately, this didn't deter me from my latest blunder. I had been hired to steal a jeweled scepter from one of the city's newer nobles, Noel Dennison. Normally, I wouldn't take a job without familiarizing myself with the victim, but I was beginning to feel my age, and it reminded me of the old jobs from my younger days. <laughs> and here, I thought, tired old cynics never got nostalgic. I was able to get in, grab my prize, and leave without much difficulty. But I took a little while to learn about Denison from his journal, snatches of conversation I had caught from the household staff. To put it mildly, guys got issues. Growing up in the nobles' court of Blackbrook would take its toll on anybody. But now I've learned that the Denison family is renowned, even there for their pride and vicious temper. Apparently, Denison had once caught a household servant stealing the family silverware back in Blackbrook. After days of torture, the servant finally died. Denison complained that the screams were not loud enough and had his torturer flogged. To make matters worse, he's already cranky about being pressured by his father to move here to gain influence in the city. Being robbed makes him look weak to the other nobles. I guess I kicked the hornet's nest, as I found my fence dead in his shop tonight. My name must have crossed the poor bastard's lips, because I've suddenly found myself entertaining. I managed to slip out before things got messy, but I couldn't get to my stash. These guys look experienced, so it's only a matter of time before they find it. Most of my things can be replaced, but I've amassed a rather large collection of potentially lucrative maps I'd rather not lose. I've got to get in, get my stuff, and hightail it to another hideout to catch my breath. Things are heating up around here, so I'd better duck out of town for a while. Right, uh, I appear to be playing as John Connery, according to the voiceover. However, you've invested way too much time and study to let these maps fall into enemy hands. Find a way into your home and get to your stash before they do. And maybe it'd be best to duck out of town until things cool off. Get to the Lion's Gate when you're ready to leave. Uh, oh, that's normal. As usual, I'll be playing on hard. Outside the city, you never know when your next meal will be. You'd better take some food for the road. Optional, cash for, cash for some extra equipment couldn't hurt. Grab at least a thousand. Self-defense is one thing, but murder is another. Don't kill any guards or citizens. But what if the guards are attacking me? Surely that's still self-defense. Well, we'll see. What does expert look like? Uh, huh. Expert says no kills tonight, but other things other than guards to kill. And has more than to grab, but I won't do it for it. Well, it's just too hard. Huh. 
Alright, so guess I've held up away from the managed to escape the guards and uh, hold up here. There's a rope arrow. And some kind of carpenter's shop, I guess. Well, let's start off with that. Another save. Oh, what's in that? How's it going? Some money. Rope arrow's a good start. Yes. Now there's something weird that they've replaced the mapping sounds. Well, let's make sure he doesn't see us. Oh. He's trying to avoid that. Singing at this time of night. I don't even know where I'm going. Do I have a map? I do. Uh, my apartment. Okay. It's not much of this. Not much of this uh, town at all. I think they have somebody coming. I know you saw nothing, sir. Oh, good. I've still got my blackjack. Ah, uh, he's gonna be a problem though, he's got a lantern, I'm not gonna be able to knock him on the head without him seeing me. I mean, I can knock him on the head, but... Yeah. You're going down. Yeah! Dodge that! You'll have to do better than that! No! Oops. Ah, uh, that's not very good. There's not much darkness out here tonight. It looks dark, but it's not. It's all showing me up. And all these guards have lanterns. Can I get up anywhere high? That's useful. Maybe not. Certainly see me. Maybe I can drop down behind him. No. He's drunk. Oh, I've got a sack of food. Excellent. He's drunk, but uh, might stop him calling the guards. So, is that the objective? Uh, six pieces of food for the road I need. Alright. So, down here somewhere. Uh, my apartment is that building just there, I believe. You messed with the wrong man. Oh, God. I'll find you. Right now, everybody's awake. I'll find you. Oh, well, they're fighting. What? 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 I didn't kill any guards or citizens. I didn't kill anyone, that was someone else doing it. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, we're back here where he's gonna spot me. Alright, so we need to not go that way. Not more than be recognized. Someone there. Let's just get out of the way. Nice corner here. Oh, you drop your lantern when you knock out. That's also handy. 
All right, where am I? Uh, I just went down this alley here, so I've gone past my apartment. How am I supposed to get in? What? Let's drag me up here. Noisy floor. Stairs, at least, should be pretty quiet. Now, there was someone up here when I was up here a minute ago. You. Catch. Ow. Oh, this isn't going very well. This isn't going very well at all. This must be my apartment, but everybody's in here. Turning it over. Come on out, and I promise I'll take care of you. Stop standing on my table. Finished. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Look at the mess. Look at the mess they've made of this place. Do you know how long it took me to uh, tidy this up last time someone turned it over? Come on now. I won't hurt you. Okay, you I'll find you. Why are you standing on the table anyway? Don't be it's just silly. Oh dear. The guards come up here and they're fighting again. Where are you? Hear that? I'm gonna lose in a second because someone's fighting the guards. Knock your choke on it! They're busy killing each other. And he's dead, and I'm gonna lose the mission now, aren't I? Oh no. Oh, because he's not a guard. So last time. Last time I guess he won and the guard died. Whoops, no, I don't want the lights on. Just trying to take this first. Uh, alright, I mean, if they're dead or unconscious, I guess that works. Guards get for something after all. Did you have any money? No. Alright. Turn the lights out in here as well in case they uh, decide to come back. Now, did you have any money? No, but you're good at hovering. You had a you had a purse. There. Oh, these footsteps are really noisy, like they're right outside the door, but uh, I don't think they are. Now, where do I hide my stash? I should remember, you know, it's... But for some reason, the, uh... All the trouble has knocked it out of my head. I don't remember where it was. Just looking for some kind of switch. The light switch, obviously, and not some kind of hidden switch which looks innocuous to everyone else, but to me, it reveals my. Okay, so what have we got there? 
More food. Oh, right. That's another item of food for my sack of food. Cool. That's two pieces. Right, I'm going to turn the light on because I can't see a thing in here. It still sounds like they're fighting out there. I hope the guards don't die around me because that would really suck. Stash. It doesn't tell me where it is, right? Get to your stash and recover your maps. Somewhere in my apartment. Like this, this looks suspicious. Like, yes, there's a grate under the chimney. Sure, but what's this grate in here? It really looks like that's hiding some kind of secret place, but I can't see any kind of switch on the chimney or on the fireplace. So. Maybe it isn't. Where's the lights? Not again behind the bookshop is a common place, but uh, oh well, behind the bookshop is where the switch is. And yes, it is behind the grating. All right. Apparently, I've overstayed my welcome in my own place. Time to go. Not before I pick up everything here that's valuable. All right, there's my maps. And I just picked up some flash bombs as well. Two of them. And a slipple potion. Excellent. Right, how much loot have I got? 325. Well, the loot's an optional goal. Uh, I still need four more pieces of food. And not to kill anybody much. Don't any water arrows. I do have broadheads, but that's not much good for avoiding the killing. I see some wooden beams there. I'm wondering if the window's open that I could climb in. So I could use my slow fall and jump out the window, or I could just go back the way I came, which is probably what I'm going to do. What is that fighting I'm hearing? Oh, maybe it's just the blacksmith blacksmithing. Makes sense. Uh, oh, there's guard. There's a guard there, but uh, presumably also, if there's a guard, there's loot. Oh, yeah, let's not die. So I actually jump when I mean to... oh, the jumping is not working. I think I'm hitting my head on the window. Dark shadows. There's a guy coming. Stay out the light. I was hearing footsteps on the carpet, but uh, I think he should sleep. Save me the hassle of uh, creeping. I don't have any moss arrows, and there was definitely some noisy floor there. Sleep. This looks like a wealthy place. Oh, I speaking of moss arrows, I do have moss arrows that grow in the window box. Convenient. Do 
two people asleep. Do you have any valuables? Are those not not valuable candlesticks? Apparently not. Do you have some food? I'll take that. Oh, that says two items for food. I thought I had three. Oh no, the other one was, was the time that I uh, had to reload. Okay. Fair enough. I think I've got everything from these people. I'll leave them sleeping peacefully. They will wake up and wonder why a thief broke in and stole not just their money, but also their apples. Oh, it's an archer just standing there staring right at me. That's not good. I want to climb in the window and take a look, but uh, hmm, not an easy floor. Is there anything in this room? No. Does he have anything over there to steal? Hopefully. There's not really much room to get by him. So I'll just try and knock him out as he comes up. Come here. Ugh. He doesn't money. Is there any more food? I see an apple. I hear someone clearing their throat. Not in this room, apparently. Possibly upstairs, possibly out the window. Well, more money, more food. No, no complaints about either of those. Oh, I can't go up there. to now that must be my apartment there that's the window I was open that I could see out for yeah, come on, get up on the ledge on the ledge you not go on the ledge I guess you can't go on the ledge all right well I can get down here hmm let's try a jump nope 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 <coughs> Could get down. What rip arrow? Let's try it. Before any more guards come. I'm just wondering if I can retrieve the rip arrow afterwards, because Yes, perfect. Ooh, what's this? Someone left some money under the table? Oh, yes. What is this wooden thing? It's like a sink? No, oh, just a. Oh, there's a bit of bread. I'll take that. Don't wait for this guard to pass by. Alright, well, we've always got enough money, but. Uh, also getting close to the food goal. Which is more important. Unfortunately, I'm almost out of health. Thanks for that uh, rather haphazard impromptu fight against all those uh, rogues. He stopped walking, didn't he? Oh, we're back here again. Anyone else leave, I leave any food in their uh, market stalls? No, oh, yes. A carrot! One more piece of food. I've got, uh, what is that? Three apples, a piece of bread, and a carrot? It's a strange meal, but uh, I guess it'll do. Are you seeing up there? 
Da gibt es richtig faul. Jo. Oh. oh, Money. These careless people leaving their money is everywhere. I think those guys are guarding the gate I need to get out of, which is going to make it difficult. You, sir. No, no, oh, I thought it was a club you're holding. No, it's, it's food. I'm going to uh, steal your food. Sorry, mate. Because that's the last piece I need. You rest. You'll have a headache in the morning and you'll blame it on your hangover. Okay. Right, so we got all the food we need. We just need to get to the Lion's Gate. That's not the Lion's Gate, is it? Uh. Wait. Oh, that's the Lion's Gate. First, can I do my usual banner destruction? Oh wow, pieces of banner make a very loud splash as they fall in the water, that's kind of unexpected. Uh, Alright, well we don't have all the money we need, but I've got most of it, I've got 700, I've got all the food, 800. And I guess this is the Lion's Gate? Maybe? No? I think that's the Lion's Head. Okay, it must be this other gate then. My girlfriend coming. Ah, not just coming, you saw me. Bad. Bad news for me. So we're gonna search around there for a bit. How am I gonna get past those guards? I guess I can flash bomb them. I have two flash bombs. Uh, yeah, probably flash bomb them. Why not? Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Yo, guys. Oh, you're not bothered by me. Can you open the gate for me? No? Please? Huh. Which way is that? That's east. No, that's Lord Frederick's estate. Okay, that is the Lion's Gate. Why? Do I have to open the Lion's Gate for it to count? Alright, fair enough. Nope, oh, half on the edge, that's not good. Alright. Try that again. I don't know the sweet guard coming yet. Someone's got a thurric. Dear, dear. Sharp edges. There we are. Much better. I hear the guard on the street. Here he comes. Make sure he doesn't see me up here. Try getting on that other gargoyle and see if it gets me anywhere interesting. Sharp edges are really bad in Thief for jumping onto because it gives your character physics model as a bunch of spheres that actually don't even overlap most of the time. Um. Oh, well, that didn't work. Plus, I hurt myself. He ran away for some reason. Huh. Anyway, that's not where I need to get to, although... Oh, I've been up there already. It's the Lion's Gate I need to get to, so how come I couldn't? Anyway. No, well, now they're searching. It's the Lion's Gate. How am I supposed to... 
supposed to get over it. I want a piece of you. Wait, wait, you were fine with me before. Damn you. Why do you want to kill me now? What did I do? Hmm. This isn't right. No, it's definitely not right. You're not supposed to want to kill me for no reason. Alright, where are you? Oh, that's not right. I'm trying to aim for the edge of the box there. You can't hide forever. So let's try this beam. It'll work better. Excellent. Coward, face me like a man. You just sleep, all right? It's better for everyone. All right, so if I can come back up here again. Can I go over the roof? To get to the lion's gate, is my question. I don't think I can make that jump. Try. That's not right. Oh, almost. But, uh, that's pretty fiddly. Doesn't feel like the right thing to do. And now I slide off. All right, this isn't this isn't at all right then. Oops, I worked them up. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, another room I've not been in, that's fine. More food, seven pieces, more loot. There's a letter from Davidoff. Anton! Of the Southern Precursors, we know precious little. During decades of dreaming and research, it was only natural that I would be inadvertently passed an ancient artifact here, or a piece of writing there, which wound up to be not of Dremian origin, but of these distant cousins. They are not entirely unrelated, but their civilizations must have diverged ages before. A closer relative in truth would probably be the Hand Brotherhood, though I must admit this is mere guesswork based on their affinity for the elements and their lack of worshipping tentacled deities. In addition, it is said that the founder of the Hand Order came from the South. The locations of their ruins vary, but probably the most famous and well travelled would have to be the Nilbog site, which lies far to the south of the city, fairly close to the hamlet between Syric and the mountains. Due to frequent pilgrimages by the Hammerites to visit their saintly iron giant, we have many accounts of journeys through the Southlands to Eldin's tomb to find queer and crumbling underground temples along the way. Take heed if you travel that way. The whole area sank into a nasty swamp years ago, and Nilbonk is abandoned. There's no telling what fell disease-ridden beasts prowl there now. As I've said, the Southern Precursors are not my specialty. The best source is probably Ibn al-Hasar of Syrik. The Syrian library is where you're most likely to find him. If you do travel that way, give him my regards. His insightful translations of Southern Grameen reliefs have been an immense help to my field. Best of luck to you, Davidoff. Alright, well, I'll also take your statuette and artifacts in there. We've almost actually hit the loot goal unintentionally while trying to find the way out. But this is not the way out. That's another roof. Oh, I can't stand on this one. It says another roof, I slide down, but no, I can actually. Ah, oh, right, this is another way out of my flat. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Have I been in this house? Stop your yammering and come down here. Oh, more food. Hello? We need to talk about Kevil. It's not a secret book, it's just a book with a title. Oh, 
carve a path to an enlightened future. Yes, Aza. Oh, thief! I see thee, thou shalt not escape. Thou seest me not anymore. Thou canst not stay in shadows forever. Try me. Curse mine failing eyes. Where went the intruder? Cease thy hiding, craven. When you come down here, it's nice and dark. Where even are you? Oh, you went up on the table. Well, that's no good, is it? Um. Alright. That explains why you're not coming down here. Can I get you off the table? Can I just steal all your stuff regardless? Look at you. You're still stuck there, aren't you? Thou shalt not hide forever. How about long enough to see if you've got any not escape me for long, thief. Long enough to see if you've got any more to steal? Apparently you don't. I think shall not save thee. Well, it did. Alright, that's enough. I don't really need your your loot anyway. Oh hey, hang on, you're up to the table. Come on. Down here. I shall spy thee ere long, thief. Or are you still stuck on the table? Oh, you're still stuck. Do you have a window out here I can go out? Yeah, you do, sort of. Maybe. That'll do. Goodbye, sir. I've got another card. Alright. Let's try this jump. No! Yeah. Let's try that jump again and hopefully get up a bit more speed. No, that's not going to work. What if I run, run along here first? Much better. No! Uh, yeah. Hmm. I forgot you were there. How am I going to deal with the guard? Guess we have to wait till the guard comes on his way back and then knock him out as he goes, because I don't think there's anywhere I can hide. And I can't put the torch out. Hmm. Eventually they'll get back to the Lion Gate. This kind of prologue mission is quite short, so. Nope. That's not the way to uh, successfully uh, mantle and knock him out, is it? It's useful to actually make the jump. Alright, let's go. No! Nope. I made it before, why can't I make it now? Silly. There we are. Right. I can't go there, but maybe that's actually... Oh. More loot. Maybe this is actually above the other place. Go in the corner. More food! I kind of feel sorry about uh, stealing that little lamb out from uh, the homeless guy, because... Uh, I actually didn't need his food. I've got lots more. I've got nine pieces. Uh Alright. What is there? Alright, that's just the staircase I've been to before, so I don't need to. Don't need to go in that window. Oh. Also, I'm leaving a candlestick by the window. What a, what a shame. A thief might stand next to the window and steal it, you know. Wait, what? What did, what, what did you see? I thought he, for some reason I thought he must have seen me. 
No. Maybe there's more opportunity to knock him out. <clears throat> All right. Excellent. You can just sleep here. What? Oh dear, he must have been on uh, one hit point. Because uh, I was trying to just knock him out and not kill him. Oh, that's not good. He certainly seen something to scare him. Oh. <sighs> That's what I was trying to do. So he ran away from something. Maybe it was the body he saw. Hmm. I do wonder, can I climb down the, up and down that drain pipe? It's a suspiciously. Well, not if I do that. I'm really not doing very well this time, am I? Not doing very well at all. <sighs> yeah, that's just me dying. I'm trying not to die. Alright. I hear some more stuff happening. I'm concerned about you if you start. running away to hide. I can't knock you out, you see. So, oh, I had a slow fall potion. Oh, I could have used that all along. Hmm. What were you running away from? Did you, did you see one of the bodies? Oh, you probably saw one of the bodies because of your silly lamp. And that probably just scared you too much. Because you're so low on health. In fact, you'll probably run away from me too, right? Yeah, the cat. Now, wow. Oh. It does fire this time. All right. I don't know why it didn't uh, trigger before when I had all my food, but maybe, maybe the loot goal isn't actually optional despite being labeled optional. That would, that would be the difference. Uh, Twenty minutes found. Oh, I missed six hundred loot somewhere. I don't know. Uh, and one secret. Fair enough. Yeah, he must have seen the body and got scared because he was so long hit points from the fight. Ridiculous. Alright, continue. Scrounging around the dusty libraries and attics of eccentric collectors has made me a bit of a collector myself. A map here, a scrap of parchment there. All are loose threads in the grand tapestry of the world's hidden treasures, and I've been collecting them for years. After thumbing through possible targets, I've settled on one that should keep me well away from the city and Denison's clutches for a while. I'm going after the Godbreaker, the sword that fell from heaven. The sword that belonged to the legendary knight, Sir Elden. As the story goes, Elden was a giant of a man, and it was he who first stood against the trickster and his minions before the arrival of the Hammerite Order. Under divine inspiration, at least as the Hammers would have it anyway, Sir Elden founded an order of warriors known as the Knights of the Shining Sun. According to legend, the order was able to defeat the trickster, but Elden fell in the process and a great tomb was erected for him. His sword 
was laid in the tomb with him and currently rests in eternal and like as not rusty repose. Apparently, Elden's tomb was once a required pilgrimage for Hammerite novices, and the accounts I've found in the archives of the temple library put an approximate location of the tomb southwest of the city, between Syrac and Blackbrook. There are rough maps of the area, but they're outdated and unreliable. Some type of cataclysmic event occurred generations ago, which caused the ground to shake and great steam-spewing fissures to open up from the roots of the mountains. If it hasn't sunk into the earth, Elden's tomb now lies in the middle of the Lantern Marsh, a vast, festering bog. Even though the area has changed tremendously, there is still hope. One novice's journal mentions the small village of Nilbog that rests on the hill not far from the tomb where pilgrims would stay and rest and regain their strength for the journey home. It's not much to go on, but I'm still optimistic. An abandoned village should be much easier to find. If I can recover this sword, scholars and eccentrics will be falling all over each other to get their hands on it. This may be the final thread in the tapestry of retirement. All right, but well, what was that thing with red eyes and that second last picture there? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. So, some kind of swamp monster. We have to find the tomb of Sir Eldon, which is located somewhere deep in the swamp, and make his sword mine. A swamp may not have much in the way of valuables, but scrounge what you can. Find 3,000 total loot. That's, that's quite a lot of valuables, to be honest. What does expert need? Oh, it's the same on all of them, right. When you're done with everything, get back to where you started. Somebody tells me it's not going to be that easy. Uh, right, uh, we start with a lantern. Interesting. 1267. I managed to steal the last time, so, um... Healing push is always good, because I tend to play quite rough and ready. Flash bomb's also good for the same reason. But I want another one of these here. Let's get two healing potions, two flash bombs. Uh, I don't put much stock in potions apart from healing. Nor mines. Uh, they're fun to play with, but uh, I'm not going to spend money on them. Gas arrows are great, but much too expensive. Water arrows are tremendously useful. Moss arrows are only somewhat useful. Let's get some more of those. Get some more broadheads as well. Hmm. Let's get one less broadhead and one more water arrow. Alright, that's a uh, good stock of dealing with stuff to deal with monsters or spiders or whatever. Stuff to deal with torches and stuff to deal with the necessary escape and healing. I'm sure I'm gonna need. Time to stretch the legs a bit. <laughs> that must be Nilbog. Guess I'm on the right track. I should keep my head down. There are worse things than Denison's thugs in the wild corners of the world. Yeah, no shit. Look at this place. I can barely see three feet in front of me. Alright. Drop a save. Check my map. I need barracks in the distance. So, well, they were off to my left, so they were there. I have no idea where I am. Near Nilbog, apparently. Apparently, that is that going to be the tomb, or is that the tomb? What's that figure? I don't know. Which one am I facing? Well, north is a cliff wall. Hmm. Sort of north and east is a cliff wall. <coughs> oh shit. Uh yeah. Remind me not to stand too close to the things. I thought there was a gas arrow there and then I got too close and realized it was actually uh a weird carnivorous plant of some kind. Gaseous plant anyway. 
Uh, hello, sir. You're not ominous. Oh, this is no bug, okay. So, hmm, there is less water. Apparently I've just passed through. I guess we should check out the town first. Nice fit in. Anything up there? Can I even get up there? <coughs> Not easily. Oh, maybe I'm that looks climbable. Got a tree. Got plants. Big stone. It's very, very dark. Uh, well, that looks like a tree beast. Uh, that makes me very. Uh, yeah, that's not a human. That's an ape beast. And that's a cloud of bugs. What is going on in this town? Clearly the skulls are sitting around other people who used to live here, I guess. No? Well, they're snoring now. Hmm. Who's living down here? Oh. Eight beasts, yes. Ow, 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 no, 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 It was supposed to be knocked out. Go away, leave me alone. Ouch. I didn't want to use a healing potion so soon. Now the whole village is going to be here, uh, on my back. Or at least these two. I saw some sneaks not long ago. I guess I need to watch out for that cloud of bugs too. Three of them. I could flash bomb them and knock them all out, but it seems. Oh, go away! Is it really following me? So, oh god, it is too. Come here, come here. We'll go there, that's fine. Damn insects. And that uh, damn monkey people that are. Way too alert. Alright, he's giving up. I guess the others have given up too. Let's sleep there. I guess in all that fuss, I didn't find out whether they had anything worth stealing in their house here, but. I guess not. Seems unlikely anyway. Hmm. I wonder what happens here. Can I find out any information? Maybe upstairs. I get upstairs. No, it's others. Chest, but barely get up the ladder. Let's see what's locked up in here. A little bit of money, nothing better. Monkey men, do you by any chance have any plumsies? I could do with some plumsies. 
Here, they might keep them in here. Hanging up by the fire. I shouldn't shouldn't bother me too much. I will say one thing: it's a very a very different feel than uh, typical thief mission. Wandering around in all the abandoned villages is very neat. Even if it's well, it's not abandoned by everybody. More to pity. Two you out there, that's right, it's the other side of the well. Apparently not in the building here, I guess. Where did you come from? See what nothing feels like. Now it'll be dark and quiet all night. Oh, silky. Oh, that's a very strange noise. You sure you're all right there, Mister? Not quite, Garrett. I guess since it's not Garrett, it makes sense that they've replaced all the uh, all the noises, all the grunts and groans. Well, the silky is no doubt for down below somewhere. Why would you have sell upstairs? But let's check out the upper floors before looking for cells. Fruits, lumsies, yumsies. Uh, good for a small amounts of healing. Oh. Uh, Guess we know what happened to the rest of the people here, huh? And, uh, the little five piece, five gold pieces. Yeah. Whatever happened here, it's fairly recent. Right, let's check out this downstairs floor. A prisoner died there. I can hear a bug beast. No, a cream man. I don't have that cream man. Oh, he's a prisoner. Sneaks you on. Yes. Over here, city head man. Smells like oil and smoke seeds. Rats find you soon. Lost, yes? No. Need safe place from the creepsies, yes? Well, maybe. Maybe we help each other. I'm listening. There is a village. Glimmer Grove. Maybe you knows. They fill you with arrows if they see you. But if Grimmer claims you friend, they leave you. Free this prisoner and the pagans in his village of Glimmergrove will be grateful. Well, alright, I think I can do that. that. Sounds like a worthy goal. Give me your mappings. There. Now you bees finding it. Thank you. I be sneaks out soon. Meet me at the village, sneaksy one. Uh you updated my map? Doesn't appear updated. 
Kuna Grove? I don't see Kuna Grove anywhere. I don't have a new page. Uh, let me just reload. Save just before that. Just to see if that was just a scripting bug. Sneaks you on. Yeah, yeah. All you see your mappings. There. Now you bees finding it. I be sneaks out soon. Meets me at the village, Snixy one. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, no, my map doesn't look any more updated than before. Uh, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. I don't think the cray man will uh, actually be happy. I let him out. So I will try not to let the cream out. Oh, these weren't even locked, so that's why it's. Oh, that one is. And he's dead. He's got money. Not doing him any good. Nothing wrong here. Alright. Yeah, I could let the cream out and then uh, knock him out, but that seems a little pointless. So I won't. I'll leave. I'll leave the other fellow there. To creep out. Objective complete. All oh, right, bring the prisoner. I don't know why that only just fired now, but all right. Where is Bloomer Grove? I don't know. I guess I'll find it. Maybe that's it. Is that part of the map, or is that just an illustration? I have no idea. But I guess if we find the town of pagans, we'll know. Oh, that's the two of you out by the well. I'm not going to be able to get you. What's oh, there's a, a room in this building, is there? Yeah. Vines, all for what? Broken chest, is there something behind it? Uh, yes. An enormous piece of gold, alright. Uh, I'm not sure that was worth losing that health for. Can I do... Ooh. That's a bit... Can I do anything about this thing? Oh, it's not, ga it's not gassing now. <coughs> Ah, but it still hurts me. Ooh, all right, well, that's my other healing question. Be more careful next time. Sneaksy Connerys. Oh, another basement to try and get into. All right, um... But I'm going to end the episode here because it's been an hour. And I will see you next time for the rest of this mission. Thanks for watching.